All candidates participating in the forum were asked the same questions and were given the same amount of time to respond. This video was filmed by QAC TV and the questions were selected by editor Angela Price from Reader Suggestions. My name is Nicole Romeo, reporting for the Bay Times and Record Observer. I'm here with Joanne Wilkerson, who is a Republican Commission candidate for District 4. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having us. In two minutes or less, tell us a little bit about yourself and why you want to be a county commissioner. Uh, well, um, I've been in this county for 23 years now. I've gotten to know the people and the heritage very, very good, and I've been on uh, community leadership roles. I've, I've uh, done uh, positions on the county boards, personnel board, redistricting board, as well as the historic Christ Church board. I've gotten to know a lot of the citizens through the county by figuring out ways to uh, uh, fix problems and bring uh, solutions to the community needs. And uh, my daughter's uh, getting ready to graduate here. She would like to come back here and live. My son is, is probably going to do the same. I'd like to give the, uh, the citizens a chance for their children to come back here and live with, with good progress for our future. Thank you. In two minutes or less, explain what you believe are the biggest issues facing the county. Well, certainly the uh, Four Seasons is a big issue. And uh, this has been going on in our county for about 12, 13 years now. And I think that the, the developer has done a good job of complying with uh, all the, the requirements that is needed. And this has been something that's been held up in courts for a long time. I'm not personally a big fan of the project, but I am a plan, a plan of a proper process. And I, this, this seems to have gone the right avenue. And I feel like we should just continue forward with that. Um, there's pluses and minuses, but we should just do what we are are heading towards and keep the, the state out of it. I'm not a big fan of bringing the state in to mandate how we should grow. Thank you. Then in one minute or less, what is your position on the proposed Four Seasons development? I am not a big fan of that project, but I do think that we should go forward with it as a uh, We've signed a contract, and we should do what the proper process and continue forward with it. Thank you. In one minute or less, what is your position on the public sewer for Southern Kent Islands? Um, that, that's something that's been going on for 40 years. We've been having this conversation about the failing septics down there, and I've been door knocking a lot, and there's a lot of people that have problems. There's, there's a lot of folks that have replaced their tanks several times. There's some that have to get those pumped out more than once, uh, sometimes twice a, a month. I've talked to folks like that. And then there's certainly people that don't have any problems at all. But I do think that enough of the ca kicking the can down the road, we need to take care of this problem now. And, and I see the state has come in to do the funding and um, ensure that we limit the amount of infill development. So if, if we can do that and the state takes care of the cost the burden on the citizens, I'm, I'm for that. Thank you. In one minute or less, what is your position on a public pool for the county and the YMCA project? Okay, I'm, I'm all for the community having pools. Uh, living on Ken Island, we have several pools that the community goes to and, and uh, have swim lessons. I'm uh, not sure in Centerville how many are being offered up here, but I'm all for the community having pools. I'm just not a fan of the, the county government giving away land. I don't think they should be in the business of giving away land or giving away uh, money in order for a, a private company, a nonprofit, to come in and here's your land, here's your money, here's your building, here's your keys. Now just charge our citizens $800 a year so they can pay the county back. I'm not a fan for that. But if, if their terms were different, if they came to the table with more money uh, on the wise end, I would be all for that. I just, I just don't feel like this is the proper way that, to do business. Thank you. In one minute or less, what is your position on the new parking permit required to access public beaches at county parks, commonly being called the beach permit? Yeah, the beach permit. Um, I've been an avid beach cleaner up, that, up or down there at that Terrapin Park, and there certainly is a problem with the pollution that's being left behind from out-of-county residents, as I see. Um, I don't feel that the $35 fee is, is adequate. I, I can see a $5 fee for a county residents. Um, and I would also like to, to look into maybe having the police auxiliary step up to perhaps check the permits or check the riffraff that's going on down there, but I am against the $35 fee. Thank you. In one minute or less, please describe your plan for achieving the county's stated goals of controlling growth while promoting economic development. 
Uh, certainly as county leaders, that should be a pro top priority to keep in our county rural as possible. And I think there's different avenues that we can go down to do that. And I think entrepreneurship and tourism are both vehicles that would lead us down that path. I think we should be working with the economic development and, and, and looking for opportunities for entrepreneur, entrepreneurs as well as those coming in and wanting to do tourist opportunity, opportunities as well. And um, I think we have all the potential to, to, to reach those goals through tourism and entrepreneurship. Thank you. And finally, in one minute or less, would you like to revisit any of the issues we've discussed or add anything that we've missed talking about? No, thank you very much for having me. Thank you, and thank you for participating in our forum. Thank you. To watch other candidates who have appeared in this series, please go to either the QAC TV YouTube channel or visit myeasternshoremd.com. Thank you for watching.